Hey guys, it's the Plant Doctor. What I want to go over today is a product called Ortho Weed Clear Lone Weed Killer. All right, so I, I want to do a series of videos here that are just some generic over-the-counter pesticide herbicide stuff that you can pick up at your local Lowe's or Home Depot. I'll leave a link down in the description below as well if you want to pick it up off of Amazon. It'll help us out a little bit here on the channel. I might make a dime or a quarter if you use our link, okay? But let's talk about this product for a minute. So Weed Clear. So Weed Clear has three main herbicides in it. So we're getting some good crossover here. So it has 2,4-D. So 2,4-D is going to be like an, an auxin. It's going to create uncontrolled cell division within the plant. And it's going to grow so fast that it's going to die. And then we have uh, dicamba, which is very similar to 2,4-D, same mode of action. And then quincrolac. So quincrolac is, is interesting in the fact that it's going to give us some really good control on crabgrass and Johnson grass and Dallas grass, any of our grassy weeds. So 2,4-D and dicamba, those are more for our broadleaf. So I want you to think things like spurge, uh, Virginia buttonweed, uh, what else can I come up with? Clover, anything with a wide fat leaf uh, that has a maybe a flower on it, those two chemicals will work. Let's talk about how to mix this product. So what I want you to get used to doing it, if you're picking up chemicals at Lowe's or Home Depot or uh, using Amazon, a product description uh, video and clicking on their link is look at the product label. If you're doing it online, you can always go to the manufacturer's page and they'll have this in PDF form, okay? And look at what their recommendations are for spraying this. I've already read it, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys all that information here. How many ounces per gallon, how, uh, how many gallons per hundred or per thousand square feet, all that information is here. So for this product, we are mixing two and a half ounces of product per one gallon of water. If you don't have one already, I've got one that I use exclusively for my lawn chemicals. Get you a measuring cup that has ounces on it, okay? Because every time you go buy some product, the directions are gonna be in ounces. So go get you a measuring cup so you can be precise. I use the, the Lowe's 40 V Max sprayer uh, to do my spraying, spot spraying in my yard. I did a product review for that. I'll try to leave it a link up here somewhere for you if you wanna look into getting one of those at Lowe's, but it does a, a great job for us. So what we're gonna do is this. I'm going to take some before pictures of the weeds. Seven days later, I'm gonna go out and take after pictures. So we'll, we'll have a nice product review. We'll have some visuals of how well this works on different species of weeds. All right, so right here, this is one week after spraying Virginia creeper. You can see that the leaves are definitely browned up. I can tell this plant's dead. Here's some other, see that right there. So this is only seven days after spraying and it's pretty crispy. There's still some leaves here, uh, but I imagine it's gonna die off here in the next three to five days. So it's done a pretty good job with knocking back this Virginia creeper. This is some crabgrass that we sprayed with uh, ortho. And you can see it's starting to yellow up right here. There are some dead blades in it already. You can see here, right there. I would imagine we're going to do two applications on, on this because it is so tough of a plant but I think we will get some control of this plant with a second application. So what I'll do, this is seven days after the first application. I've got some pretty good dieback. I'll wait one more week. I'll come back, set. so 14 days after the first application, I'm gonna come back and hit this one more time and I think it'll get completely rid of it. So I have looked and looked and looked for some spurge that I sprayed and this is the only remnants that I've found of it. I found some in a flower bed, and I've got it over here off camera. I wanna show you what it's supposed to look like. That's the spurge that we sprayed. And seven days after spraying, that's what we have. 
So this product has done a great job on knocking back the spurge. This is a summer cedar. Some people call it dog fennel. And you can see it's starting to die out. I did not burn the grass here uh, with my spray. It was already a thin spot here. You can see the Bermuda starting to fill this spot in. It's pretty thick just behind it. But so 2,4-D is a plant growth hormone simulator. And so it stimulates the growth in the plant. You see how it's getting long and leggy limbs? That's what it's supposed to do. See how this is, it curls over. It's growing so fast that it's curling over. Basically, we're making the plant grow so fast that it can't take up enough nutrients to um, survive. And this is the end result. So this is seven days after spraying, and it looks pretty good in terms of control. I do not think I'm gonna have to spray this again. It's starting to blacken up and brown up. It's real brittle on the inside. Um, so this has done a really great job. This product's done a good job with knocking this. I did have one or two little dandelions that were in this general area right here, and I cannot find any evidence of them. Uh, I did mow like two days after my application, so I think maybe what happened was sprayed it, it started to die back, I mowed it, and it's, it's no longer here. So for dandelion control, we're gonna call this product a success. All right, so it's been seven days since we went out and sprayed for our weeds here with our Weed Clear Long Weed Killer made by Ortho. Let's talk about the results here. I like this product. For, for something that you pick up off the shelf at Lowe's, this is a good product. Some things that I would recommend about this product is this. As I said earlier, read the label. Okay, don't spray this product if it's 90 degrees outside. Don't spray this product uh, on Bermuda if it's 85 degrees outside. Read your label, especially if you're spraying this on St. Augustine or Centipede. Uh, you could really potentially mess up your yard. I'm not even sure if this is rated for those grasses. I'd have to go back through and, and, and read the label before I even put that on these grasses. Do I recommend this? Yes, I recommend this product especially for the broadleafs. We had great control of broadleafs. Uh, right now we've got marginal control of our grassy weeds. Uh, so the uh, crabgrass and the uh, goosegrass, uh, it is yellowing. I think I'm gonna have to do a second application there, but I think after the second application, this product here is going to get the job done. So uh, yeah, if you have a problem with weeds in your grass, in particular Bermuda zoysia, pick this up. It's going to get the job done. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor. And until next time, happy gardening.